I'm going to go over how to use the security templates snap in. Go to your start menu and right click and click run. Type in MMC and click OK. From here, you go to File, Add, Remove, Snap In, and you're going to scroll down to the S's. Go to Security uh, Templates, click Add, and go to Security Configuration and Analysis is what that is. You can't read it. Click Add and click OK. Now from here, uh, just click Security Templates and you're going to right click and click New Template. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to write, uh, I'll just write Practice or Template, my initials, and description practice template. Oh, okay, I did that already. So once you do that, um, so you're gonna see right here. If you if you click it, security templates, you're gonna see the path to the already, you know, uh, the system template. Uh, by default and here's the one that's created so what you're going to do this is our template we just created double click it and then uh, so from here here here's everything you can change um, by default so I'm going to double click the account policies so you have a password policy um, account lockout policy and then the Kerbo or Kirby policy. Um, so double click password here. You can enforce password history to, you know, let's say 20. So uh, password age, you know, we can, we can by default leave it at 42. And it asked me, I should have waited there. It asked me uh, by default, do you want to change the minimum password age to 30 days? That, that was the suggested. And I, I clicked OK, so it changed that automatically. We can go in here and change that as well. You know, if we want to say, you know, whatever, 15 or 20. So um, there, there you have it. Um, you can also, you know, you can go back. That was the password policy, account lockout policy. You can change it to, so if, you know, account lockout duration. If somebody types in like uh, the wrong password five times, uh, they'll be locked out for 30 minutes. Let's click OK. Uh, oh, by default. Now it's change. It's wanting to change these. The count lockout threshold is five invalid attempts. Reset account lockout counter after 30 minutes. So by default, we'll just keep that the same. We change this one. This automatically changed because we clicked OK. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you know, I go in and use it as needed. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this helps.